What up YouTube? This your boy Download back with another album review. And this one is to the game, Jesus Peace. And you know what? This album comes with a whole bunch of controversy here, man. Like, a lot of people basically calling them out, being upset about it, calling it blasphemous, all of that shit. And honestly, I don't know why. I mean, let's face it. A lot of the shit that he's talking is what's fucking going on. Like he's talking about how hoes is doing scandalous ass shit and then they'll pop up in church like nothing fucking happened. That really does happen. He talking about how dudes is going to churches to pull these hoes that's in fucking church. Yeah. Hell, the preacher be pulling these hoes in church, man. Either that or some little boys. Overall, people just trying to be outraged and shit, man. And it makes no fucking sense to me. Because, first of all, a lot of these people, and I'm not just saying black people in the ghetto. I'm saying people in America. You people claim to be Christians, man, and you don't follow what Christianity is all about. Like, what does Jesus say in the Bible? He says, love thy enemy. Okay, what happened when Bin Laden was finally killed? How many people were out there in the damn streets celebrating, dancing on cars and all of that shit nationwide? You kind of can't do that if you're following the teachings of Jesus. And another thing that Jesus said in the Bible, let he who is without sin cast the first stone. Basically, before you start talking that shit on how blasphemous and how wrong this album is, you got to look at all your sins that you did in your fucking life first. And me personally, I know I be fucking up. So, I'm not going to call out nobody on no fucking sin type shit. You guys really got to realize, man, that art imitates life. And by the way that people be acting about religion, how people be acting in churches, man, this artwork is a pretty fair depiction of what's going the fuck on. But anyway, on to the album, man. And the album is alright, man. It is cool. There's a solid four songs on there that I can get with. That Ali Bumbaye, Jesus Peace the song, See No Evil is That Shit. And that Can't Get Right is dope as fuck too. Now a problem that I have with this album though, man, every song he got the heavy feature, man. Everyone. Like, I'm listening to this because it's the game, Jesus Peace. Not the game and friends presents the compilation of Jesus Peace. But still, because the game does take initiative, man, to do multiple verses instead of just doing one verse and let the features do the rest, it comes off pretty decent. Now, I definitely feel it's worth a listen, and you listen to what songs you like and download the tracks off of iTunes. I wouldn't buy the entire thing. But anyway, on to today's article from DownloadPads.com. And today's article is about being too busy. And you know what? This shit is supposed to happen. When you're doing what you're supposed to do in the game, man, you're not going to have enough time in the day in order to do the things you need to do. Like doing simple math, man, you put 8 hours towards sleep. That gives you 16 hours in a day. If you got a job, that's another 8 to 10 hours. Let's say 8. So therefore, you got 8 hours in a day to do everything you need to do. As far as talking to people, sending out material, creating material, recording. Shit, recording sessions can take up an entire 8 hour day. And when you become too damn busy to do shit, that's when you start outsourcing and start picking up people like managers, lawyers, promoters, all of these people because they help you get your fucking time back and you can focus on what's most important, which is doing your fucking music and getting the business and promotion right. 